An old Bemidji Theaters management wants to restore it to its former glory. The downtown Chief Theater is home to Paul Bunyan Playhouse performances each summer. It still operates through the year these days, but at a major cost. Jackson Bruner has that story tonight. In the 1930s, Bemidji's Chief Theater opened as a movie house. It went out of business 50 years later, but was reopened in the 90s as a home for both live and film theater. The building has become so worn down today. We've been sort of making do with what we have. That ownership believes it needs an overhaul. This rock exterior here, there's several places where it's cracking. On the other side of the building, you, there's chunks that have actually fallen off. And so what we'd like to do is we're going to remove all of this old stonework and underneath is this original limestone exterior. Soon after reopening, the building sustained some fire damage. It disabled the entire lighting section of that reflective space on our marquee. And at that point, our neon stopped working on the main part of the sign. Management says the technology they have on the inside is generally outdated. The stage's 20-year-old lighting system needs an upgrade. Something that we're looking into doing is replacing all of this with new modern LED lighting technologies. Our tech booth, which is right up above here, um, doesn't have the appropriate outlets that we need to update our lighting and sound system. The whole project will cost officials upwards of $300,000. It's a lofty goal, but one that chief theater leadership is determined to reach. We'd love to be able to get this to a point where it's you know easy for anybody to use, where things are always working the way they should, and be able to continue to offer this space for the next 50 or 60 years within the community. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. The Paul Bunyan Playhouse Board says it will look at grant money and local donations to reach the money it needs. A Friday event at the Chief Theater will screen several movies free of charge to the public. And those interested are asked to reserve tickets at the link on the screen. There's an option to donate, but it is not required. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.